Oh, why are you here besides to drink coffee and abuse my hospitality? <laughs> that is why I'm here. I'm here to expand your patient span. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. What? I know what we got to do. We're supposed to be uh, doing what? We got to put the exhaust on this thing. Let's take a look. On this right. rocket. Yes, yeah, on this rocket, right? And I cannot find 14 inch rims for it. They only came on like two years of these or three years, the GTI Swift with the uh, with the twin cam. Remember those? Yeah. So Dustin found me four on Amazon at 90 bucks a piece, or we're just gonna go grab my 70% hacks off oh. the blue one, right? You should just I don't wanna on. spend five, well, I can't, and it's- You don't have time. He can't even find me 13 inch studded tires. Like it's just, all of a sudden people have quit making them. Like three, four years ago, it was easy to buy them. Now it's not, so I'll save these for something else. So we gotta drag these four out into the back and put them on the blue car and grab the hacks. I'm not going up and over the coke in a snowstorm without hacks. Don't care, I need studded tires. And those ones are still like 60, 70%. I mean, I'd like to put these ones on. Look at these old. <laughs> right, how safe would you feel, Abe? A lot safer <laughs> if you weren't driving. <laughs> All I'm looking at is, uh, with you in the front seat, we got traction. We got we perfect. Got traction There's out. a positive side to everything, Mike. Okay, let's pick this up a bit and look at the muffler. Is, or, or is that your working height? <laughs> well, what are you going to do? The, what, what, are you, what are you going to change in it? Well, we just got to put in the muffler. Where'd it go? Well, how much is sticking out the back end of it? Well, here, let's look. Let's go up a bit. Watch yourself. Right? I mean, then I got, I got a bunch of pipe. <laughs> Should be good, hey Dave. Yeah. Can you reach, little buddy? Is <laughs> we got on the phone a yeah. lot? Okay, let's have a look. Right? It goes in these two. It goes here, I think. Yes. Does that know where it goes? Well. <laughs> yes, no. Yeah, it goes there. Bottom ones or top ones? It doesn't matter. I don't know. It must be the bottom ones. So what do we need? I mean, we could we could just make do, just cut it here where it's straight. Yeah, just make do. Whatever. What size of pipe is that? Uh, I don't know. Tiny. We need to take and get some other hanger for up in the front here. Take and get it up a little bit right here. Well, can we just wire it up? Well, it looks like there's supposed to be a hanger on the other side. Is there? Like it needs to be right, like right there. You need another. You can probably oh, no. hang it right from here. You need you need to get a hanger, Mike. It has to come down here so it lines up. Yeah, but we need a hanger right here. Okay, you so need to, you need to get you need one hanger with a self-tapping screw in it. A hang universal there. hanger? A universal hanger to hang it right there. Yeah, okay, let's get Lord Go to give us a couple. I got one one more of these, but there's no way to There's it. no nothing on it. nothing with it. Yes, okay. Hang it's on. Gonna nothing, nothing. Okay, hang on. Hang on for a hanger. Hang on just for a sec. <laughs> I never even realized how funny that was. Hang on. Hang on. Nobody realizes how funny it is. Oh, uh, Jesus. Greg, hey, can I get a couple of universal exhaust hangers and some self toppers with a half inch head? You know the ones? Yep. Okay, uh, just put the. Yeah, yeah, if you, yeah, give me give me a box of them, whatever. And then that way, that way I'll, I'll have them. Lose. Just put Firefly. I know, we're working on the hot rod today. <laughs> okay, thanks, Greg. Right. So, hey, what size pipe is that? It's one inch. Jesus. Okay. Inch and a quarter. I don't know. It's... <sighs> Here, let's see. Does it go in or does it go out? Ooh. I think, look at that. Okay, there's half the problem, and then the other one might slide inside there, yes? Yeah, it didn't cut off. Okay, let's take, okay, so what's the difference? Like six, eight inches, so we'll go, we'll go a foot. I mean, it shouldn't be no big deal, Dave. No, it's not a big deal. So a foot? Yeah, a foot. Okay, we can do that. Just get it spread a bit? Yeah, it needs to be expanded. Okay, so I should make another piece about four inches longer? No, good enough. Is it? Well, how solid is, how See solid? See right there? Yeah. 
There you go. Well, why don't we go register the car then, and then we'll yeah, we go to the bumper shop and get them to spread this, and we can yeah. cut it back to wherever it is. Okay. So that's good. Cool. That's done for there. Okay. What else do we need before we go to town? Well, should I not make this maybe four or five inches longer? And then we can, all, just in case you want to cut this pipe back a bit, or you think that's good? I'm just saying, right? Because we can always shorten it to fit. No, I'll leave it the way it is. Okay. How much you cut the long enough? Four inches. Just cut the about that for a minute or two yes it's uh do it the other way Abe. it's easier why do you hey if you're doing it backwards i don't like that way do it i way. don't give a i don't care i don't give a fuck whether you like it or not mike give me that wait why would you do it that yes, way yes, yes, <laughs> you can go fight with a nut for a half an hour if you want putting it on it's gonna be easy Abe. that's right take it all off and put it back the other way around yep so you yeah. can fight with the nut and just watch Okay, this is gonna go up here, that's gonna go there, and this is gonna go through here. That wash is gonna go there. Okay, where's the nut? The nut's gonna go on. Uh, 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 one sec. Okay, do we have it? Do we have the right size wrench? There, wow, big fight, Abe. It was just amazing how hard that was. Now it looks clean. Okay. Wow, it's even almost in the right spot. Okay. Right here. Can you get the fucking ratchet in? Why don't you? It's too easy. Like, yeah. it, it won't fit. Well, use the other fucking end. Use some spice grips on there. Put it on the other end. Might be a hell of an idea. <laughs> hey, are you grumpy? Grumpy. <laughs> there ever was one. You got a fine thread nut on there, don't you? It's no, no, it's it's coarse. Look at that, it's almost good enough without even moving it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we'll just weld her up. Okay, but we gotta, hey, so we need something to hang and just pull that over an inch, right? You take and lift it up before you get too weld yeah. crazy on there. Okay. Lift it up a bit. Okay, with that, yeah. yeah, right so there. So that's where it's gotta go, and then it clears clears the spring. It should go over a bit, but. We need weld that or put some clamps on it almost instead. Where? Well, I'd use a clamp on it instead. I put two clamps on it. Don't have any clamps, eh? Yeah, you're not going to weld this because it's going to blow right through. Well, we can tack it. You do or every... we could just leave it right there. And just go and buy some. It's good enough. Okay, we just got to pull it over and enter. It's going to hit this, the coil <sighs> spring. Okay, we need some wire, Abe. Eh? What do we got? Here, grab me a little tab, a piece of metal, Abe. Eh? Just leave it until you get the clamps on it. I don't want to take the clamp. I'll just weld the, weld the piece from here to here. This is good. Here, Abe, hey, you're always in such a rush to do yeah, a fix job. Fix the thing right or just don't with it. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weld it. We'll just weld the bracket right to here. No? So where? From this piece to the pipe, just a piece of rod or something, right? Where's the welder at? We can just, yeah, we'll just take a piece of ready rod, curve it around. Here's almost a three-day affair. Hey, we've only been on it 10 minutes, Abe. Yeah, it's right over there, it's right over there. Where? The welder's right beside you. Okay, if my time was as valuable as yours. Right there. Okay, but I mean, I was thinking we just put a piece of ready rod through here and bend it around. No? Yeah, I could do that. Right? Okay, take this bracket off. Make yourself useful. I'm gonna get some ready rod. Why don't we just run it through there too? See, we want it, we want it hanging up. So I'm saying, if we just take this nut off, we can put that piece of ready yeah, rod there. You, it'll, I vibrate like a son of a bitch. Why? Because it just will. Oh, will it? Okay. There's a reason the rubber mounts on there. Okay. okay. Here, weld it right there. Cut the other chunk off. Well, what's it gonna hold it through? We gotta put a nut on oh, it. Oh, you can do it every you Okay. okay. Well, we'll weld it. Right there, right there. Weld it right there. Okay. Okay, hold it. 
You sure are. You want to say I got fixed up a little? Ouch! I'm gonna put a new system in it anyway because I can. Okay, push it up there. Well, get your shit ready before I hold it for half an hour. Should I just pack that good pipe yeah, in? Yeah, pack in, it. We're this far now. Into the muffler, right? And then that, that way it can't blow yep. off. Right. The other one. Can, the other one can blow off as long as this one doesn't. Here, pull that ahead a couple of inches, Dave. Just put a couple tacks on it. I don't care if it leaks. Okay, okay there. Oh, did you put the clamp on? Close enough. Should be good for the test drive. See if it'll weld on here. Where? Right here on that rust. Metric is it shouldn't be here half inch wrench. Well, that surprises even me. What? Well, did it actually that went on there? Well, why wouldn't it? Well, because the end was cut weird. Oh. There. Open up there. Okay. There, the that's bottom? done actually. That's Tires are jacked. Well, I had to pack the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Start here. it up, let's see what this piece sounds like. Because I want to hear it. Oh, my knee, my knee, I need a new knee. Uh, you need a tall ladder, maybe. Oh, I could drop this down. Okay. Oh, well, let's hear this. See, you gotta run, run for a half an hour, Mike. Just start it. Well, the brakes out of the down. Tires or the jack? A little bit of the jack is. What? That snap on one. And you gotta be careful you don't dent nothing. Getting it out there. That way we can pick up the front and the back. I'll pack the tires if you want to pack the jack. It's right over there by the yellow compressor. <laughs> You're a f <laughs> oh god! Oh god, I'm so funny. Uh, Where's the car? Where did I put the impact? At the very end of the yard. To the corn maze ish. Is it heavy? No. Do you need a hand? Do you need a hand, little buck? Drag it from there, Abe. It's only the first bit that's hard. Hey, careful with that. I'll snap it. Well, make him pack the old one tire. Oh. <laughs> you want to switch? Oh.
Which would you like to take back, eh? The tires or the chair? Living the dream, Avery. What? <laughs> be doing this in the first god place that's just a cover grill <laughs> god it's hard to get good help even when it's free i don't know that's up here somewhere all right great size turn it around turn it around how do you like them apples eh how do you like them apples big grip These are direct. You can jack them both up at once. Just checking, Abe. I know. So I know when you're sweating, you don't think as good as you normally do. Do you think these? These got to be 60 percent, eh? They're about 80. 80. Yeah. Okay. They're good well enough. Jacked. Yes. No. No. They aren't. The sun never hits here, Abe. Look. But the sun right here. Not weather check. That's where the studs came out. Look at the cracking in the rubber. Yeah, but that's from the stud. I never sees the sun. These are like good. Perfect. Put yeah. them on there. They're perfect. What could possibly happen? They're studded. No, that's a 15. It won't work. Those two will go on the back. Right? Here, Abe, where's the cut? Hang on, grip. Yeah, there. You don't even see those valve stem covers anymore, eh? Along with the pin. What's that? These valve stem covers, you don't even see them anymore. <clears throat> These tires are all weather checked. He's an idiot. They're weather. Oh, yeah. With the pin tightener? The tires are all weather checked. The valve stem tightener? That it's one's bit. flat. Like there, you might as well have nothing. They're junk. That's new tire. Like. These tires aren't that great, Mike. Well, you come and take a look at them. They're as good as they're as good as summer tires. Why? Because there's no sipe left on them. Yeah, no sipe left on them. Well, we'll put these on the back. There's no nothing left on them. The backs are good. The fronts are worn out because they're yeah. front front wheel drive. Well, let's see if I know what Dustin has for for. Yeah, me. them tires are. I but okay. they're not very good. I, just, like, I can't find any. And I don't want to run those summers. Okay, but the backs are decent. Like, we just can't win, Abe. Let me phone Dustin, see like if he got these here. Like, you might as well have a pair of summers on it. Oh, yeah. there's, uh, there's nothing. You got you got this much tread all the way. You got nothing. There's nothing on and them. And the backs are like new, you know? Yeah. You know, they say rotate your tires. I did. Well, that guy in Alberta, see if he's got tires sitting there. 
that had that geo whatever. Does Canadian Tire not have any? Uh, no. Uh, actually, I never tried them. I tried, tried Canadian Dustin. Tire. Hang on. Oh, oh Dustin. Yeah. Is he's Dustin's a major tire retailer. Well, I know well, he is. He sells four or five hundred sets a year. Hang on. Let's just see. Delete. Hang on. Let's just see. Canadian Tire. What do we want? I don't know, but look at that rock. Rock and roll. Pennies from heaven, eh? Pennies from heaven, yes. Yeah, pennies. I could die out here. I know. That's why I gotta carry around. Look at that one big one there. Mike, <laughs> explain that to me, and I'll never think of it any different now. What? Pennies from heaven. Yeah, pennies from heaven. Every time I hear that now, that's what I'll think yeah, of. Yeah, pennies from There's heaven. There's a couple out there that are gonna get. Look at oh. that big. Look at that big one there, just perched. Oh. Maybe there's a bunch of them. Look at the one in front of the blazer. Look at the one that smashed into my Chevelle. It's not big. Just billing. I woke oh, up. Yeah, it sounded like I World War III. That big one's gonna let go pretty soon. Hey, don't depress me. I, I'm waiting for spring to move the cars. Hang on, we're looking for Canadian Tire. Hey Val, can you guys get anything in a studded winter for a 13-inch rim? Because I'm having a hell of a time finding anything. I had a brand new set of 14s, but I can't find rims for them, so. I know, everybody's going to 15, 16, 17, 20s. Huh? Uh, yep. What make are they? Okay, stud them up and I'll bring my rims in. Okay, you it's, got it. it's Mike from Ross Brothers. Yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, we'll see you soon. Hey, bye. Wow, well, wasn't naughty. <laughs> my Abe, so you, you're taking the tires this time? You're <laughs> <laughs> missing. Yeah, we're putting brand new studs on it. I'd rather be driving this in the winter than my dog. than there is in my oh, frame. got a radio in this thing. Yeah. All the latest in technology, bro. <laughs> look at the I shape. Can't, it's... can't believe these things still exist. Yeah, but look at the shape it's in. What year is it? 91. How many K? 225. And it runs good? Yeah, like a pop. We just, right. we just did, did a couple patches here. It started to rot through. <laughs> 50 miles to the gallon gets better mileage than your bike. Well, my bike is different. Well, so does this. And I got my bike looks nicer than this. Which way? That way? No. 
Other way. There, okay, straight the boat. That ain't good. Believe I'm power steering aid. Got any gas here? <laughs> Next question. I don't know if we got enough to make it to the gas. Is there any gas in that jerry can? If sure it got there. It should be one just inside of anything. Mixed gas, any gas. Is there a gallon? Yeah, right here. It'll work. Get it to the gas station anyway. <sighs> I love these cars, man. <laughs> we're gonna fill it up with premium for 30 bucks. Eh? And we're gonna drive to Vancouver and back. Gonna smoke a little bit. <laughs> but at least it's premium. All right, we put a little bit of that stuff in there for the, for the lifters, didn't we, Abe? Avery, let's see if the seatbelt's working this one. <laughs> Mine reaches, does yours? <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> Check key brake. Yeah. yeah. We got fuel. Is it made, guys? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna. Honey. Hey, try the brakes once before you get I'm going too fast. Gonna. Mike! Let's see. Lincoln, get! Go home! Hey! This go home! He ain't gonna follow us. Lincoln! He's gonna fall right to the highway. Go home! Get back there, get. Lincoln. Go home! How's the clutch? Works. Say grow in the first. <laughs> this is where we're gonna die. We'll, we'll wait till we got a good run. A lot of weight in this little machine. <laughs> okay, go! Go! Hey, it's only a firefly. Well, it's been a long time since we've hit one of these <laughs> things, eh? It's much better looking through these. Well, you roll up the window, Abe, and there's oh, no Oh, yeah. Right? Well, the window's even working the f***ing thing. I know. Thing. Okay, mirror. We got a rear view mirror. Holy f***, man. We're styling, buddy. You know, it ain't that bad, actually. Well, once you get the heat cranked and a toot. And your jacket. Well, the front end feels pretty <laughs> I think we might put some new shocks in today. What do you think? I just leave it the way it is. It drives nice. Hey, what the f is that guy doing? Driving like you. It does drive nice. It, and it's weight. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's like being on the ocean. I love it. This is more fun than my Chevelle almost. We still got another gear to go. More comfortable than your Chevelle. The only thing your Chevelle won't pass, Mike, and that's a gas station. Or an inspection. <laughs> Hazardous. It's frightening me. Let's get some 94 premium. Oh, yeah, is it going to make it run any better? All 38 horsepower. 48. <laughs> that what it has? Not 48 horse. <laughs> 91. I don't think they're horses. It's probably squirrel powered. <laughs> okay, 48 squirrels, whatever it is. 
Like this thing is in good shape. It's in amazing shape. God, everybody slide. This is the best one I ever bought, Ave. What are you doing over there? What, what are you doing over there? Any bets on what's it gonna take, Abe? Be hard pressed to take 50, probably. Well, I said 40. Let's see if it'll fill it up. No, it's got a quarter tank. At 40, should probably fill it. What's it say? I don't know. It doesn't look like the gas gauge works that good in it. Nope, it don't. <laughs> yeah, well, it might start working. Well, it looks like it's going up. It's going up, Mike. Yeah. Probably just tight, seized or whatever. Tight. I know there's, well, you know what I mean? It hasn't been used in a couple of years, probably. That's well, just. The root, I think, is corroded. Yeah, yeah, it could be that too. Now we'll slosh it around. Oh, look, it's going up now. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure something in there moving around will. If you're looking for the second plate, it's behind the no, pack of plates. I'm plate. just looking for the fourth lane here. I'm just telling you, if you're looking for the second license plate, yeah. it's they're all put there, both of them are put together because I didn't take them out of okay. the plastic. Okay. I can't believe how good this thing runs. <laughs> how quiet it is. Well, that's because we put a muffler on it, Dave. Like, oh, yeah, it's just, hey man, we're doing 90K up the hill. It's better than the other one. Oh, grabbing gears. Uh, will it make it up the hill in fourth, eh? I don't know. There's quite a little bit of tuna in here. <laughs> there's like 600 pounds almost in here. Yep. Oh, 575. <laughs> yeah, at least. Look at that. We're doing 2,500 coming up the hill, buddy. These are good cars. I don't care what anybody says. See it. See if it overheats or not. I don't know if the electric fans work. Well, look at that. It's got a full tank now. Yep. Amazing, man. Like it just look. Overheat. I mean, it's too cold outside for it to overheat. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't shake. It doesn't shimmy. It tries. It I, I, I. Brakes work decent. They work good. I'm impressed, Dave. I mean it. I, I really, I really can't believe how good this car is, Mike. Other than the driver driving the thing, I'll have to put some miles on it just to make sure. Hey, get out of the way! God, I'm gonna have to lock it up. This is a valuable piece of auto. <laughs> sure. Uh, this car is actually quite comfortable. It is. I'm surprised. It's got not bad power for two guys in it. Well, I mean, we came up the hill in four gear, 2500. Still got like, overdrive. Yeah. Right? I mean, All I can I'm think sure we're exceeding right its design capacity. <laughs> like you said, there's almost 600 pounds in there. You know, you don't think about it until you get in there, eh? Yeah. Like it's got, what has it got, 46 horse? 48, I think. Yeah. Like the average yeah, motorcycle's got, your average motorcycle has more power than that. I know. Yeah. A lot hey. of them have like 100 plus. Yeah, that's right. Right? I think Connor's 750 Jixer was like 75, 80 horse. Yeah. Right? So, anyway, very cool. I'm happy. Happy now. Thanks, Abe. Couldn't have done it without you. I tell you what, I'm well, glad. I could have, but there would have been a lot less whining. <laughs> <laughs>